Hey friends, it's Mike from Hillside Hives. I uh, just want to continue our little saga on our Russian bees. Uh, the good news is they came today um, to the post office and there are a couple that are alive in there. So I got to go in there and I got to see what's going on. The queens are still alive. How many of the bees are still alive and what we can do to help those bees out and survive. The bad news is I wasn't kind of set up for that yet because I just, I just wrote it off as if they had died. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them, I'm not going to put them in the big, uh, hives. I'm going to put them in five frame nukes because I don't think there's going to be as many to keep them warm, keep the hive warm and it's still chilly in New Hampshire. So I'm going to put them in a five frame nuke. So I'm kind of getting that all set up this morning and then I'm going to put them in. The second thing of bad news is, as you can see around me, it snowed. So it's cold here in New Hampshire this morning and it snowed. Um, but the good news about that is in two days it's going to be 78 degrees. So this is all going to be gone. But for today, it's going to be 55 degrees. It's going to be a little bit cooler. I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit warmer to put these bees in. I mean, I'm talking like 50 degrees. Um, and because right now it's only like 28, 29 degrees. So I'm going to wait a little bit. But I'll get this all ready and then we'll do it together. All right, so we'll I'll be back. to problem number two for today. Um, I think it's actually like problem six. But it's all right. We just deal with it. We just keep it rolling, right? So I have the bees in the car. They're in the car because it's a little bit warmer in the car and I don't want them to go into house because I don't want them to get really warm because uh, I had to start a fire this morning so it's really warm in the house. So I have them in the car to transition over to the outside here. It's warming up. It's about 45 degrees right now. It's just a little bit breezy. My second problem is actually you see behind me I kind of have this discombobulated. This is where the Russians were supposed to go but guess what? I had some settling in the ground so it kind of settled the hives down a little bit too low. If you can see this hive here, it's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So I can't put them over there. So we have to put them over here. So I have this side of the apiary. So behind me is everything. Again, it looks a little bit of a mess right now, but by this afternoon, it's gonna be cleaned up and looking beautiful. So um, I have my eight frames over here. I have my five frames. When I take a look at those bees and see if hopefully we can get some in one of these frames. Um, so I'll have the brushes on this side of the um, apiary. So stay tuned. We'll see what's going on. Okay, friends, I'm down here to beehives again. Still looks a mess, but it's okay, I'll clean it up. But look at what I opened up this to move this hive and look at what came out at me. Oh, that big spider. Horrible. Go away. I have to move that whole thing and I don't want it to run up my neck or something. What am I gonna do? I gotta get rid of it. All right, so bees are revived back a little bit. Um, like I said, maybe about a 75% loss for each hive, but I'm going to put them in just the five frame nukes and I'll be back. Okay, friends, I unloaded this one. Please, again, don't mind the mess around here. I have to clean up, but I unloaded this package. Like I said, there were so many dead bees that I couldn't fit that whole package into the five frame nuke. So I ended up having to dump them and unfortunately dumped a lot of dead bees in there. So I've been trying to scrape the dead bees to the bottom. So we're just gonna have to work that out the rest of the day. Um, now this one over here, I release the queen right down in there and I just have this package upside down and we're going to slowly just let some of these bees out. There's a lot. This one I don't think there's as many die out. Um, there's still a lot of dead ones in there which is what concerns me. But I have some honey frames in here. I have some frames down on the bottom here that have honey and drawn comb. And then I'm going to put a feeder. This is a fat man, fat bee man style feeder. I'm going to put on top of here and just really feed the heck out of these bees. Um, got to figure out how to feed this one a little bit better. There's a whole tray in there of um, used honey frames. So hopefully they're going to have enough feed. And then I have the other one in the house yet that I will have to have to bring down the whole nuke. That's going to be a... The whole nuke is in the house, so I have to carry the whole nuke down here. That's going to be interesting, but we'll get it done. Um, so let's just shake a few more of these bees in. Oh yeah, look at that's nice. So see the dead ones down there though. I gotta somehow move them around, get the dead ones to fall to the bottom, because there's no room for these live ones. So I'll work on that. Okay. I wish I had a camera where I could have you stand here and watch, but. Oh, got strong in the eye. Okay. okay, I'll be back. So we have two of the packages installed of the Russians. The other one, like I said before, is in the, I have to bring it down from the house. 
this one was a little bit feistier. There were a little bit more of them in there. Right now, um, I have them, um, again, there were so many dead. And this, these packages aren't like the wood packages that got plastic again. And they have little legs on them so they don't fit into the five frame. I probably could have put this in a 10 frame. I just didn't know how many were dead versus weren't dead. Um, there were a few more, maybe about 50% die out. But again, when I put them in here, a lot of the dead ones are like, I've had frames down here and full frames. And then I dumped them into this empty box. So a lot of the dead ones just were on top here. I had to take a stick and kind of like let the dead ones fall to the bottom. And what I'll do is come in like two days and I'll get rid of all those dead ones. But we gotta let them all figure out, like fall to the bottom. Um, and then you can see I have bees ev everywhere over here. They're trying to figure out, here's their upper entrance. They're not using their bottom entrance, I think because all the dead ones on the bottom. But they're using their upper entrance. All these girls are just trying to find food. They're starving. They've been in this box for over a week, so they are starving. Um, so they're trying to find food. They're gonna eat, and I hopefully once they eat, they start, these girls start fanning and say, come on in over here. So that's my hope for them. I have a spot right here for my other nuke that I'm gonna carry down from the house. And I'll get that out because it's in the house and I don't want them to, to fly around in there. This hive, I have the same. I have things sitting out and they're using both entrances. My problem is it's starting to rain. Of course, <laughs> it's all right though. We'll get through it. Um, I think it's only supposed to shower today. So we'll get through this little bit of a rain shower and hopefully all these bees are gonna find their entrance. And then if not, um, I'm going to have to open them up and try to get as many in as I can. Okay, well, kind of wrapping it up for the day. I did the best I could to get all the bees in. These bees are just, I think it's just been being in the box for so long for their package. They're just not, they're just so confused. They're not really going into their boxes. So I got as many into the hives here as I could. There's another one over here, but it's too shiny. Um, so I got as many into these um, hives as I could. Uh, the rest that are out are probably going to die tonight. Um, they won't. They just won't go in. They haven't fanned to go in. I'm just going to let them in there tomorrow. There's plenty of food in each hive. And then uh, let them get established. And I probably won't go in tomorrow. I, I say that, but I will. Um, just to try to get them uh, established within their hive. Uh, I think it's going to be a little harder for these with them being in the package so long. But uh, we'll see what we can do. I um, think that's it. I will give you an update throughout this week. I started tearing apart that area over there, as you can see. There, I have to uh, take that one big hive off of there and straighten that up a little bit. You can see it's kind of leaning forward. So that will be the area over there. Excuse the boxes right there. I have to cover them up. I just wanted to have a backsplash because I was getting so much mud over there. Um, but that's going to be the area once I clean it up for the uh, Italians that'll be here in two weeks. All right, well, I'll keep you updated on these Russians and let you know how it goes. Thanks, have a great night.